I believe. I believe that the Secret Service leadership made a political decision to deny these requests. And I think the Biden administration has been suffused with partisan politics. Did the same person who denied the request for additional security to President Trump also repeatedly deny the request for security to Robert F. Kennedy Jr., whose father was murdered by an assassin and whose uncle was murdered by an assassin? Did the same person make that decision? Senator, what I will tell you is that Secret Service agents are not political. Okay. Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I've been watching these hearings of the Deputy FBI Director and the Acting U.S. Secret Service Director as they testified in front of the Senate Homeland Security and Judiciary Committees about the attempted assassination of Donald Trump, which just happened on July 13th and for which the media is already trying to cover up, including Google trying to hide that it ever happened at all. Facebook too, which outright claims that it's a fictional event that never happened. So I've been watching these hearings today and oh boy, they did not dispel any conspiracy theories or earn any respect or confidence from anyone. But we'll go ahead and get into this so you can see it for yourself. Check this out. From this vantage point, as as the law enforcement who are in those windows, as they look left, they should be able to see the shooter clearly there on the AGR second floor roof. My question is, why is there not a Secret Service counter sniper on that roof? So, Senator, we're um, when we post up, our, our is our methodology is to look out, look at things that can see in on our protectees. Uh, so that they can provide that coverage. But wh wh why is there not a, a Secret Service counter sniper there with clear line of sight? That roof has a clear line of sight to the former president. Why didn't you put a Secret Service counter sniper there? Uh, the Secret Service's counter sniper role is to neutralize those threats that are looking in on us uh, from where the protectee is, not necessarily uh, You think maybe position. you might want to revise that protocol in light of what happened here? Uh, they were protecting the principal, and I think in the principal the, got shot. I understand that, sir. So do you and think you might want to revise the protocol? Let me ask you this. Who is the lead site agent who made the decision to leave the AGR building completely outside of the security perimeter? Who was that? Senator, I cannot give you that name. This person is operational. They're still doing investigations. They're still doing protective visits. Have they been relieved of duty? Senator, uh, they have not I know been their relieved name, of by duty. The way. Why have they not been relieved of duty? They are still cooperating, not only being interviewed by the FBI, but also by our Office of Professional Responsibility. And uh, we will let the facts of uh, the mission assurance and any further investigations play out. Is it, isn't the fact that a former president was shot, that a good American is dead, that other Americans were critically wounded, isn't that enough mission failure for you to say that the person who decided that that building should not be in the security perimeter probably ought to be stepped down? Senator, I think you're using the word decided, and I think we need to allow the, the investigation play out to include. No, who, okay, so a, a who, did, who, who did make the decision then? If it wasn't the lead uh, site agent, who made the decision not to put that in the security perimeter? Senator, you're zeroing in on one particular agent. I want to find out exactly yeah. what was the entire decision process. So I think yeah. I want to be neutral and make sure that we get to the bottom of it and interview everybody in order to determine if there was more than one person who perhaps exercised bad judgment. Well, sure. My question is, why don't you relieve everybody of duty who made bad judgment? So, yeah, you're right. I am zeroing in on somebody. I'm trying to find somebody who's accountable here. And we so will. you're telling me that the person who made the decision not to include this in the perimeter has not been relieved of duty. What about the person who is in charge of the interoperability of radio frequencies between local law enforcement and, and Secret Service? Has that person been relieved of duty? Uh, no, Senator, because interoperability is a challenge, uh, is a greater challenge than just one person. On that day, we had a counterpart system uh, it failed As the person who decided, who made the decision to send Donald Trump onto stage knowing that you had a security situation, has that person been relieved of duty? No, sir, they haven't. Because... As the person who decided not to pull the former president off of stage when you knew that, in your words, the locals were working a serious security situation, has that person been relieved of duty? Uh, no, sir. Again, I refer you back to my original answer that we are investigating this through a mission assurance and as opposed to zeroing in on one, what more do or you need to investigate to, to know? Exactly what the what decision more do you need to investigate was? to know that there were critical enough failures that some individuals ought to be held accountable? I mean, what more do you need to know? What I need to know is exactly what happened, and I need my investigators to do their job. 
And I cannot, a lot of people didn't do their I cannot jobs. put my thumb on the scale. What? Otherwise, what do you mean put your thumb the on the objective, scale? The obje you're asking me, Senator, to completely make a rush to judgment about somebody failing. I acknowledge this was a failure of the Is Secret it not Service. prima facie that somebody has failed? A former president was sir, shot. Sir, this could have been our Texas School Book Depository. I have lost sleep over that for the last 17 days, been just like you have. somebody to and hold I will tell you, Senator. I will tell you, Senator, that I will not rush to judgment, that people will be held accountable, and I will do so with integrity and not rush to judgment and put people unfairly persecuted. I can't believe that you persecuted. are I, unfairly persecuted. Unfairly, got people sir, who are we dead. have to be able to have a proper investigation into this, Senator. You said earlier that you've got to make sure that your protocols are followed, and unless there's a protocol violation, people wouldn't be disciplined. I would just say to you, I don't really care that much about your protocols. I think if your protocols don't provide for the fact that when a former president is shot, when an American is killed, when other rally goers, innocent people who just showed up on the day when they are shot at and critically wounded, if that isn't a protocol violation, prima facie, you should revise your protocols. Senator, I think this is where you and I agree. This was a failure and we will get to the bottom of it. Well, I hope you're going to do something about it. Let me ask you something else. The Real Clear Politics reports this morning that you were directly involved in denying additional security resources and personnel, including counter snipers, not just to this event, but over the last two years that President Trump's, President Trump's team repeatedly asked for these additional resources, and you personally were involved in denying them. Is, is that true? Senator, as I stated earlier, that is not true. So you never denied any resources to former President Trump's team? Uh, no, not me. No, and, sir. And you, weren't, and you weren't involved in any of that? You no, were never sir, involved in the decision making? No, sir, I was not. Let, let me ask you just one or two other things here quickly. Well, whistleblowers tell me that, in fact, law enforcement were stationed to be on that roof and that law enforcement abandoned their post because it was too hot. Is that accurate? Senator, I have heard that as well. Uh, again, uh, they posted up inside. And I think moving forward, as I as I said earlier, we're going to ensure that state and local counter snipers are on roofs. But but do you do you know if someone was supposed to be on the roof? Do you know if someone was in fact? That's what the whistleblower tells me. That may or may not be accurate. Do you know that to be the fact? Was somebody posted to the roof, local law enforcement or whomever? Uh, I do not know that to be a fact. Well, can I ask you why you don't know that? Again, Senator, don't we are looking at this, and they should have been on that roof. And the fact that they were in the building is something that I'm still trying to uh, uh, understand. I just want to express my frustration, Director, that 17 days or whatever it's been, that, you, that whistleblowers are telling us more than you are, and you don't know, you haven't ascertained if there was supposed to be law enforcement on the roof. That seems like a pretty basic fact. I'm also told that local law enforcement suppliers offered the Secret Service drones, and you declined them. Is that true? So, Senator, uh, one, I've been very transparent and forthcoming. Uh, there Your agency was, has not been transparent and forthcoming, so please, but let's not go there. I have been forthcoming, sir. You've been, well, that remains to be seen. You've been on the job a few days. So far, you've fired nobody. Now, the drones. Thank you, yes, Were sir. you offered drones? Senator Hall. So there was an offer to fly a drone on that day. And why did you deny it? Uh, again, uh, I think the ability of local law enforcement to provide an asset, we probably should have taken them up on it if we if it was offered. Senator Cruz. Uh oh, spaghetti. -o. Unreal. I'm going to get on to Ted Cruz's questioning of him, but I just wanted to make a couple real quick points. One, we hear over and over again from this acting U.S. Secret Service director that he has no explanation for the things that occurred that allowed Trump to get shot in the ear. We also found out that the Secret Service did have a drone, but the acting director claims that it didn't work because they didn't have cellular service. But then he was asked why the shooter's drone was working then. And of course, he had no explanation. Director Rowe, can you explain why the shooter's drone worked? Because there was no counter UAS present, sir. Well, you had um, a drone system, but you had bandwidth problems. The bandwidth apparently was adequate for the shooter's drone, but not for the Secret Service. Can you explain that? I, I, I have no explanation for it, sir. 
Gee, it just sounds like you're lying. Also, the building that the shooter was shooting from was not included in the security area, despite it being the most perfect place to shoot from in the entire area. And also, no radio communications. These people are supposedly the cream of the crop. Yet one of the things the acting director says they need to learn about is radio communications. Maybe up to half a minute between the time he's seen with the rifle and when the shots are fired. But there's still time. At that point, if there were an open channel of communication in which they were able to tell him, he's got a gun, take him out. You could still take President Trump off the stage. You could have him duck. You could have the shooter neutralized. Do you, do you not have a channel of communication by which they can say, gun, take him out? So again, Senator, that information stayed and stayed in local channels and did not make it over to Secret Service. Did they service. not consider that relevant? You're, you're, saying saying that the state, the, you're saying that the local police didn't consider that relevant enough to pass along to the Secret Service? Sir, I think that they were in the midst of dealing with a very critical situation and they articulated that over the radio, as I understand it. However, it was never relayed over to us. This is just, you know, excuse my language, this is completely fucked. And of course, no explanation for why Trump was even on that stage after they had identified this guy, seen him with a rangefinder, then saw him up on the roof. We're just told that the US Secret Service never got the message about a shooter on a rooftop right across from Donald Trump. Just let me know in the comments, who out there actually trusts these people to investigate themselves? Because we all know exactly what's coming. They investigated themselves and found they did nothing wrong. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Rowe, thank you for being here. I agree with what you said at the outset that the individual Secret Service agents demonstrated remarkable personal courage, putting their bodies in between the line of sight of the shooter and the president. That being said, the bravery of the line agents is quite different from the decisions of Secret Service leadership. Secret Service leadership committed catastrophic security failures. Indeed, the worst security failures for the, for the Secret Service since 1981, since the attempted assassination of President Ronald Reagan. It is incumbent upon this committee to determine why those security failures happened. Just after the shooting, Secret Service put out an official statement from your spokesperson that says there's an untrue assertion that me a member of the former president's team requested additional security resources and that those were rebuffed. This is absolutely false. In fact, we added protective resources and technology and capabilities as part of the increased campaign travel tempo. Was this tweet accurate? With respect to Butler, Pennsylvania, it is accurate, sir. It is accurate that the Trump team had not asked for additional security and had not been rebuffed. If you're talking about Butler, Pennsylvania, all assets requested were approved. If you're talking about the media reporting of assets requested, uh, there were times when assets were uh, unavailable and not able to be filled, and those gaps were staffed with state and local law enforcement tactical assets. So I, I'm reading from the Washington Post, July 20th, 2024. Secret Service said to have denied requests for more security at Trump events. The opening paragraph, top officials of the U.S. Secret Service repeatedly denied requests for additional resources and personnel sought by Donald Trump's security detail in the two years leading up to his attempted assassination, uh, according to four people familiar with the requests. Is that right, that repeatedly the Trump detail asked for more resources and repeatedly Secret Service leadership turned that down? That, that is not accurate, Senator. Uh, assets are requested. There's a process that is made. Um, and How many requests did, did, the, did the Trump team or the Trump detail ask for? Uh, I can get you that number in a queue. You, you, don't know, you don't know now. So I can speak to the ones that reported in the Washington Post, and we can go through them if you like. But you don't know how many, how many requests there were? In general, how many requests since 2021 that the former Trump detail has made a request for assets? You've had two weeks. You had a spokesperson put something out that is false on its face. By the way, did you approve this statement when it went out? Uh, I, 
I don't know if I did or didn't, Senator. Has this I, spokesperson, is, is he still employed? Does he still he have is a still job? employed, Senator. So he lied on behalf of the Secret Service. He still has a job. Did your predecessor, the former director, does she approve this statement? Senator, uh, our comms team, they, they send out statements. Uh, they do deconflict them, and they put them out. Did she approve this statement? Uh, I don't know if she did or did not. Senator. And you don't know if you did either? I, I don't recall re approving it, Senator. Will you commit to provide this committee in writing every written request for additional resources from the Trump campaign or the Trump detail and every response from Secret Service? Senator, I will commit to providing responses and getting you the information that you are seeking. Let me ask you something. Uh, and, and who makes the decision to deny those requests? Did you make that decision? Which requests? Are you talking about the ones that were in the Any Washington of them. Post? Yes. So the process, sir, is that uh, a detail uh, will make a request for either staffing, technical assets uh, that is handled between uh, the field office and the detail. It goes up to a logistics office. Uh, between our okay, so there's a bureaucracy. Is there a decision maker? It's not a bureaucracy, it, Senator. Give me the person process. that's a decision maker. Is there one? Uh, Senator, uh, it's a conversation. It's not just an absolute yay but, or so, nay. So let me tell you what I believe. I believe that the Secret Service leadership made a political decision to deny these requests. And I think the Biden administration has been suffused with partisan politics. Did the same person who denied the request for additional security to President Trump also repeatedly deny the request for security to Robert F. Kennedy Jr., whose father was murdered by an assassin and whose uncle was murdered by an assassin. Did the same person make that decision? Senator, what I will tell you is that Secret Service agents are not political. Okay, you're not answering my question. But, but you know what? Leadership to your appointed, answer, by, the Senator, president, leadership appointed to. by the president is political. I have a simple question, yes or no. Did the same person deny the Trump request that also denied the RFK request? That's a yes or no question. Uh, Senator, that is not a yes or no question. One, there is a process for a candidate nominee to receive protection. Is there, that does the is buck a stop anywhere? Does the buck stop anywhere? That is a bipartisan process. So, that the Hill it's a bicameral, bipartisan process. What camera? For a candidate, you, for you a are not candidate a Congress. You don't have a camera. Mr. Kennedy submitted a request that was referred over to the CPAC. Okay, you're refusing to answer the question. Let me ask, because the failures on that day were catastrophic. By the way, is it true that on the day of the, of the Butler event that Secret Service transferred agent from President Trump to the First Lady? Uh, no, sir, that's not true. That's been widely reported. It's not true. There was one airport agent that actually went on the manpower request for the Trump detail. They handled the arrival at the airport. What, is the the lady what was the relative the size of the Trump detail compared to the detail that is assigned to the president of the first lady? Uh, Senator, the former president travels with a full shift, just w like the president. What's the re so the exact same size? Is that your testimony that, that the President Trump had the same size detail that President Biden has? On the day of in Butler, the agents surrounding him, it is the same number of agents surrounding the president today. There is a difference between a sitting president who also not only... Hold has, on, you're using president in a way that is not clear. Is it your testimony that in Butler, Pennsylvania, Donald Trump had the same number of agents protecting him that Joe Biden has at a comparable event? I'm telling you the shift, the close protection shift surrounding... That's, that's yes what you asked me, Senator, and I'm trying to answer it. You are not answering it. Is it the same number of agents or not? Senator, there is a difference between the sitting president of the United States. Then what's the difference? The difference? 2X, 3X, 5X, National 10X. command authority to launch a nuclear strike, sir. I, I'm, I'm there not are asking other assets how many that more travel agents? with the president that sir, the former president sir, will not get. Sir, you are refusing to but answer But the number straight. of Secret Service sir, agents stop protecting you. him. Stop interrupting me. Go ahead, you Senator. You are refusing to answer clear and direct questions. I am asking the relative difference in the number of agents between those assigned to Donald Trump and those assigned to Joe Biden. I'm not asking why you assign more to Joe Biden. I'm asking, is the difference, is it 2x? Is it 3x? Is it 5x? Is it 10x? Senator, I will get you that number so you can see it with your own eyes. Oh, great. There's just too many I didn't knows and oopsies. 
way too many. This guy gets really angry and defensive for somebody who's completely innocent and just trying to find the truth. And I really don't like how this guy is raising his voice and pointing at these Congress people who are just doing oversight. That's their job. He's accountable to them. Then he's constantly deflecting blame and saying that nobody made the decision, that the decisions are actually made by a group of people. It's pretty clear this guy knows that something more than just a failure happened and he's doing his best to cover it up. It's exactly like what you see from the thin blue line gang of police officers who will cover for each other even if they know what the other police officers are doing is against the law and a crime. All right, folks, what do you all think? Do you believe anything either of these two had to say today? Let me know in the comments. And if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.